Well, hello, Lolas. Hello, Lolas. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel, guys. If you're new to this channel, guess what? It's time to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click, 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 click the bell to be a part of the notification squad make sure you click all so that you can get all notifications and make sure you check out my community tab from time to time because i do make posts there as well um what else i need you to do oh can you please 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 give me a thumbs up please pretty please thank you and don't forget to leave me a comment and also guys if you are not a chatterbox member of the paid channel membership support your girl by subscribing by paying a dollar and 99 cents a month or 4.99 a month it depends on what you would like what type of entertainment what level you wants to be on but it's available to you as long as you are at least 18 years or older all right guys so Real quick video, this is not gonna be a long video because I wanna do more chatting videos, sitting down. So I wanna do my long videos like that. I just popped on to show you guys Paris Me Amore. Yas. Paris Me Amore, let's talk about it, baby. Every so often we have to bring the queen out. Yes, yes, yes. So Paris Me Amore is my oldest baby. She is my oldest reborn, my oldest baby, period. Period, poo. I got, I don't know, her box open is on, it's still on the line somewhere, I mean on here on my channel. Um, so I think I got Paris back in like, mm, 2013 maybe, 12, I don't know, but she's going on 10 years with me. So, she is painted by Yolanda Boy Glover, which is Yogi. Um, she, again, this is 10 years ago, okay? This is 10 years ago work. And to me, she still looks as good as some of the babies that I see floating around that are painted today. So, which is not to say anything bad about the babies that are painted today, but to say that the artist was doing her thing back then. Um, lots of things going on with her. She has painted hair in like in her forehead and then her hair actually if I brush it it blends into the painted hair she's heavily textured which is why I love my babies heavily textured she has a very strong magnet which is cool beans let me see something yeah and um she has rooted eyelashes her hair is rooted um she still has a full head of hair I just have her on a bonnet to match her outfit. Um, she has a tummy plate and it's anatomically correct. She's wearing it right now, actually. Um, she has a birthmark. She has a dry skin patch on her. Hold on, let's, let's see what we can, how much of this we can show. So she's, she has a birthmark. You see that? She has like dry skin on her chest you can kind of see it and feel it this is so soft her tummy plate all right so we're gonna put that back she has like the ribbon to tie it to hold it in place Ugh, child let me come on this side but um so she is she has motlin or what i we call motlin for aa babies which is i feel like it's, it looks different Sometimes certain people do it differently and I like the way that that Yogi did it on her which is kind of similar to how I do mine on my babies kind of similar I'm looking at that okay um but yeah she is um really holding up really really well so for those who um might think that reborns won't last i think they will i really do um i really think they they hold up as well as you take care of them um like i said before in many many videos the first year at least i dressed her 
every day, probably twice a day. Don't ask me why, but I would take pictures of her with her outfit of the day and I would take pictures of her in her pajamas at night and she was just the baby, okay? Um, so, over the years I had many babies painted by Yogi, but all of them I end up selling, but Paris is one that I held on to her. Um, what else do Paris have? Um, she have tipped nails. Those don't look as realistic, but we knew that back then and it was kind of like sh something. She was trying to a little too white, but other than that, everything on her is like up to date. Um, I won't change that from her because I do not want to touch her painting whatsoever. I think the only thing I did after several years is I changed her body to give her a full leg body, but she has three fourth arms. Um, the kit is supposed to be like three fourth both, but her legs are so long that they she does really good on a full leg body. So um, we went with that. Um, what else about Paris? Paris still, like I said, have all her hair. Um, I do not store her anywhere she actually lays out in one of the baby lounges on like what I call their little baby bump bed and she does not I just I do not put any wraps around her head she don't sleep on a satin pillow any of that stuff and she's fine her hair is still intact um I don't comb her hair but maybe once a year <laughs> if 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 she's lucky um that's just happened over time because I just kind of got out of it. Every so often I go through this phase like, okay, I got to pull Paris out and, you know, deal with Paris more, you know. So I'll start dressing her periodically and then I'll comb through her hair and stuff. Um, but for the most part, she's usually posed, displayed because, of course, you know, I've had her a long time and I've gotten so many other babies till it's just kind of like, mm, okay. But I have not lost a bond with her. I have not lost any love for her. I absolutely love Paris. When I pick Paris up, my heart still melts. Um, I just wanted to share her and just tell you guys that, you know, just... I do have some babies that I have kept for many, many years. Um, I have other babies that's been here, you know, for quite some time as well. But Paris, me and more, will always be my number one you know forever baby like she's not a baby that ever is up for consideration if i have to sell every baby in here paris paris i think paris for the reborns and phoebe for the silicones those are two babies that will just forever be here and they will forever be my hearts so that's my story um i don't know if you guys have older babies i would love for you guys to do videos um, showing your oldest baby in your collection, how long, what's the condition of the baby, you know, that type of stuff. I would love to hear more about that, like, because I would love to know how babies hold up over time. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, I'm able to keep, like, one of my silicone babies for a very long period of time so that I'll be able to, you know, speak to that. Um, so, like, Paris and Vegas. You know, I'll keep them for a long, long time, hopefully, and we'll be able to, you know, kind of go from there. Um, but I, I just want people to enjoy their hobby. I just want people to relax and just know that, you know, of course, it's always going to be, you can do this, you can do that. Sometimes some of those things, it might help and don't hurt. Sometimes it's just unnecessary, but whatever makes you feel comfortable and feel protected, with your, you know, with your collection, do it. Uh, but at the same time, remember why you collect, enjoy it. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Um, I really, a lot of people, some people don't like the really texture that you can feel. I love it. She has like, um, it's almost like a banana peel, not banana peel, orange peel feel almost. But over the years, um, I guess I've just gotten so used to it. 
but it, it's smooth it's very smooth but i feel so secure with changing her like i feel like i can dress her a million times and she's gonna be okay um her paint hasn't faded or anything so paris is just she's she's just was well done and i'm i'm very grateful that i was able to have her done she was a custom and she was a dream baby for me at the time and she's still my little dream so anyway i hope you guys have babies that you enjoy we will see you guys in the next video again this is paris me amore and she should be about 10 years old i have to double check but she definitely should if she's not 10 already she'll be 10 very soon so um again thanks for watching oh she's done by danielle zweers that's the scope name all right see you later bye